Hello. So I'm gonna be playing the Turing test. And I think it's like a psychological horror game or something. I also ordered food. So I'm gonna go get that. You guys don't go anywhere. <laughs> BRB. Did you go somewhere? You blink. I told you not to blink. Okay, I said don't go anywhere, but still that means don't blink. Blinking is losing your state of consciousness for a nanosecond, so don't do it. It's too late now, you already did it. Doesn't count. Anyways, let us get into the game. Oh, I have to install shit. So how's your night going? Or day? Or um, afternoon or evening? One or the other? Oh. You, you're done with your day already. Wow, that's crazy. That was a great, fully complete summary of your day. Okay, cool. Game time. So this game looks it's phenomenal. That's right. Breathe. You're doing it a lot better than the rest of us here. These times are hard. Morning, Eva. Hello. Tom? Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface, post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Okay. You found an organism? Is she running like that? Is that how she starts her runs? What is the hand thing that she does? A little. Like, what is that, man? Come on. I just want to get back in frame instead of having my face cut off. Holy shit! This probably looks really good with the highest of graphics and all that. But we ain't about that life. We ain't about that life. Hey, Tom. Can I punch you or something? A mug. Yes. I am literally. I'm like the, the GPS thing, you know? You know what I'm talking about? The navigation symbol. Yeah, I'm like, wow, that is terrible. Might want to bump up some graphics, huh? Okay, it's just another one of those navigation symbols. It's dope. What's in here? Another cryo person. Can I open? No, I cannot. Mikhail? Mikhail? Kokata, Sarah Brooke, Chris McLean, nice, user error, okay that's probably not normal, Soichi Yui, my, this is my team, this is actually kind of thematic to In Space with Markiplier if you haven't checked that out. Which is not my plug, it's the funniest thing. It's not my plug, it's not my thing. But I really liked it. I really, cryogenic chambers, I think. I really liked it, it's a very nice space theme, funny, cool references and all that good shit. Just came out with part two. Oh, hello. Crew lobby, that's me, and the rest of the sleeping guys. Office. Daniel McQueen, wait. All right, so. Chris and Daniel, related, question mark. Pick up your EMT. My EMT? It's on the side. Which side? There's two sides. I have two sides. 
Well, we had this side, found it. Okay. We are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. Energy manipulation tool. Why am I going to Europa? A blinking light. Everyone knows that's a good sign. <clears throat> Let's go down, I guess. This is definitely a bad idea. Open sesame! Going in space, guys. What part of space? I don't know. What's the ship's status? What is that? I have performed the necessary checks. Okay. What is the Europa thing? lander is ready to launch. Did he answer your question? Is the ship the Europa? Docking bay. I can do a little hip hop. That's an accurate amount of jumpage, actually. I can. There's physics. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Knock it over. Climb it. Climb it. Can I crouch? It's not an accurate crouch. It's not an accurate crouch. It's like a, it's like a squish down your neck. Bay Yo. three. Why are the other bays red? Let me see what it's supposed to be. Okay, it's just been prepped. That makes sense. Let's go. This is like the beginning of Subnautica, which you guys have never seen me play, which is fine. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcon? Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. Separate. All systems go. Wow. Engaging retrofire. I'm running the program 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Trajectory looks good. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. Go. Full retrograde. Welcome to Europa. Europa looks really nice, other than the really frigid climate. Is it because it's like Europe cold? Is Europe cold? I don't know. I've never been to Europe. Why do you run like that? What are you slapping away? Oh, it's strafing. Okay. But like, who strafes like that? Smack. Smack. All right. So we already re uh, have a base. How long will my suit survive these conditions? At 100 degrees Kelvin, a couple of hours. Huh. We should get inside. No shit. No shit. Yep. There's actually loading? Is this game old? Just kidding. Even new games load. Ooh. I have a gun. Don't move. Oh. oh, stop. Weird. Ha! You got nothing. The base has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Magula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. I have a module. Stop. 
stop with your shit. Stop. The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. Okay, so I can absorb it. Release it. Stop with your stupid skin. Okay. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. Why do you sound ominous? What is this? Wait, oh, go back. Oh, shit, I wanted to absorb the energy. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Oh, that's... Whoa. That's nice. That's pretty cool. The fucking stars. I don't like you invading my internal privacy infinitely. Hmm. Oh, I can probably do it through windows. Can I jump through the window? No, I can't, but I can do this through. Well, it's not really a window, it's kind of a window. Can I do it through windows? No. Not a fun uh, do you know the ground team's location? The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. They must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. Two hours later. I didn't work not as, not as well as I'd like, like it to work, no. Oh, but now I can go, yeah, I can shoot. There you go. Pretty, pretty fucking scanners. Stop it. Okay. So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. Oh, I have to hold it. Wow. Oh wait, no, no, come back. Come back. Slow, slow, steady, baby. That works. Yep, take that out there. Okay. Now what? Is there not another one somewhere? Okay. Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Boy, I can solve anything. How do I do this? <laughs> do I need to light them all up? <clears throat> I'm gonna take those then. Thanks. Goodbye. Obviously, I can't go through the door with them, right? Otherwise, it would be too easy. Thank you. Yeah, I need two. Oh. The magnet has the thing. Can I bring this over here? No. Okay, what do I do? I just go through it anyways. This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. 
My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. I don't know what that did for me, honestly. Oh, oh, and now I can do this. I kind of just autopiloted that. My instance has just been updated. Okay. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind. Two separate versions. Okay. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. Okay. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite, and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. Okay. There's conflicts in his memory. Can I just avoid those in any way, shape, or form? No? Okay. That doesn't sound like a good thing to happen. Ooh, I have an idea. Up we go. Up we go. Up we go, baby. Let's go. I'm okay. But I'll take, I'll take that because I know I need it. Stop it. Damn it. This is, this is a hologram. This is the command space. center. You can check on the crew status from here. I feel like there's going to be like a trading card or something in under one of those. So I have to look. Oh, hello, computer. Tom, start recording. I am always recording, Daniel. The day is January the 6th. My watch says it's 2.30 on Earth. Here we are, members of the human race, standing on Jupiter's moon Europa. I am Captain Daniel McLean. I'm joined here by the rest of my team. It is our intention to make this moon our home and investigate life on this planet. Man's curiosity and appetite for discovery will continue to change our world for the better. Inspiring. And might I add my congratulations to you all. Music too loud. Sound effects. I want the voices to stand out. Because it's too loud. Mikhail, you seem distant. Do I? Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mikhail? Mikhail, what's wrong? Are you listening, Mikhail? Are you able to hear? Hmm. Let me go back to this one. Here it is. Beautiful, isn't it? What makes this one more remarkable than the others? The way it attaches itself to other organisms. Its behavior is very abnormal. It seems to form a symbiotic relationship with most life forms. How do you mean? Do you want me to dumb it down? I know what it means. What does it do? It attaches itself to almost anything living, but it's not parasitic. It's quite alien. We're trying to figure out what effects it has on life forms. You should know anything symbiotic. Not a very good idea. Unless this is Spider-Man, which is not. I was talking to the ISA. They don't know what to do with this. The magnitude of the discovery. We should send samples back to Earth. But we need to get this to a better lab. Me and Sochi are having trouble making enough clones. We're gonna run out of the necessary resources to continue studying Organism 119. They're calling for a grounding of all Europa transport until they get your report. Seriously? Yeah. That's rather drastic. I was talking. So wait, why would you send this unknown substance to Earth? Just ask for better lab equipment. Like at this point, take some cryo sleep or something and wait for the equipment. But sending it to Earth—that's just gonna endanger everyone on Earth. I don't know. I thought it would. I, I don't. I don't think it was a smart idea. But then again, I'm not a space scientist, so okay. Let me turn on my light. It's getting dark in here. One second. Okay. We're back. You see how fast that was? It's like instantaneous, almost. 
I just got up, light went on, bam, and I'm sitting down. Nope. Anyways, let's just let's just continue. That was some good story stuff, but chapter one complete. That's pretty good. Okay, we're back. What condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. One of the brothers died. No, that's why it said terminated twice. Let's bring this down. Oh, God. Bring it down. Thank you. Um. And I can really swoop. And then swoop. Oh, I need two of those. Okay. Up we go. Okay, great. Oh wait, um, bam, shoot, there you go, boom, boom, stop with the fucking scanning. Could we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base? Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. Oh. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. Oh God. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Okay. Is there a magnet? Oh, there is. Okay, I'll just put it right here for the magnet. Come on, come on. There it is, there it is. Popochki. Grab. Why does my vision get all gray? Ooh, ooh man, magnets are tingling. There you go. That'll do. That'll do nicely. What are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food stores, but the crew fixed that up. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable small artificial ecosystem a year ago, growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale amongst other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. Well then what the hell happened? What accident was it? Why did this dude die? One of the brothers. Two hours later. Yeah, I need three of these. Good thing I'm a genius and I yep. I yep. One, two. Bam. Ugh. You your scans tickle me. My purpose as the overseer of this mission is to work for the ISN. I am the ISA's feet and hands. The distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. How far along am I? Oh, this is a long game. How does the ISA know you're going to make the right decisions here? when they can't communicate with us. Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. Tom and Michael. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth running at all times to check my expert systems. Naturally, as any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. I probably need them later. Yep. 
Can I take this? I can take this with me. They didn't plan for that because you never, never, never need it. I knew there was a good reason to not get scanned. Put me back in this room. Do it. <laughs> This thing again. This is just telling me. That is cool. There's a sneak mechanism. Polite conversation. Shall we have a polite conversation? Yes, that's how that works, right? Well, how about an intelligible one at least? Sorry. I'm simply not convinced you are a human. I think you might be a robot. Why? Why do you think you get to ask all the questions? Good point. Ask away. But Turing test isn't for you to see if I'm a robot, it is to see if you are. Oh god, this is crazy. <laughs> um, is it because I'm using caps lock? <laughs> Failed the Turing test, you are a robot. No. What? I'm, I'm, I was gonna type no you. I'm typing C. C, 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 C. C, 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 Look, I'm not even looking. Oh! I'm controlled by my programming. Now you're getting it. What is it? I have no free will. Whatever keys are pressed, it makes no difference. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Is that it? Am I done? I want to escape. Oh, well, that's a valid point. I want to enter. Can I enter the matrix? One, two, three, four, five. Click the click. I'll just wait here. I'm pressing escape, by the way. Please let me out. Get me out. I'm a machine. I have no control. I must escape. Goodbye, robot. And I can't go back in either. That's Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. They removed the energy gate too, okay, so you can't. Have, have you it. heard of the Turing test, Ava? Apparently. It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations one with a machine and one with another human. They then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine 
and which is with a human. Do you think you'd pass the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation. Wouldn't you say? Nailed it. The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? Uh, no. Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in a wall. Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation, while the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? I may be a machine, but I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. This is the crew's quarters. It looks abandoned. And all that. Okay, we're in chapter two. That was nice. These people should not have been sent here. It's not safe. Manned space travel is not safe. Since mankind first entered space, the debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent of the ISA that believes all tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than humans into space. I mean, yeah. Genius. Genius me strikes again. We sent drones to Earth's moon. Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? Teleoperation became possible on the moon when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 seconds. The distance between the Earth and Earth's moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real-time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa. As the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 53 light minutes, it takes a very long time for Earth to communicate with Europa. Due to that distance, teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Okay, but why not control drones from the satellite? Why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated from Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field workers apparently outweigh the risks. So, why can't you solve these tests, Tom? I am not permitted to think laterally. Parts of my systems are permitted to use evolutionary algorithms. This simulates what is called creativity. However, Evolutionary algorithms can converge on inefficient and ethically suboptimal solutions. Since this is the case, I am only permitted to take actions in response to a set of constraints. What do you mean by morally suboptimal? Solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries. There you go. And, and, boosh, boosh. There we go. Perfection. Why does a lack of creativity stop you solving these tests? Well, I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising 
your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Think back to the beginning of these tests. To the first puzzle you solved. It required you to throw a box through a window. Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. I simply had never thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity. Thinking outside of the box. <laughs> Yum. Oh, fuck my life, I hate that. Can a computer ever be creative? They can. But a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it could. Those organisms that did not survive perished. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Those ideas that work, survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological process creates are not always good solutions. As we see, nature is morally ambivalent. It will happily create morally suboptimal ideas to fulfill its creative mandate. We see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. Okay, that's my limit. <laughs> Am I back? Yeah. Okay, sorry for that. <sighs> I have discerned that creativity is... ...is divergent thinking. Creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am creative. Organic solutions? Organic, in that it is developed through a biological process. Whether that is the process of evolution or a computed process. So... I don't think I can stream anymore today, which is fine. Like and favorite if you enjoy. Don't forget to leave a subscribe or follow me on Twitch. Both are helpful to me. Well, subscribe to join my Lions Pride today. That's what I usually say. And I'll see you guys whenever I do. Peace.